another completely free plugin. And some of you may find this good for just anything if you're just trying to goof off or trying to understand it more. When you're uh, in blueprints and you're searching for a blueprint that you're like, oh, maybe it's called this because that's what it does or whatever. Um, it's, it's, it's along the lines of that. It's called LE Extended Standard Library. So um, it's just more tools or really, if you want to be specific about it, more blueprint nodes. And I don't know why it's looking like this. What? I, I don't know. It's just more blueprint nodes. It adds it adds a lot more um, a lot more blueprints uh, to your library. So being that there are so many, um, you can go down into the technical details and see a little bit more of what what it adds. Um, and I'm sure there's tutorials or something. Uh, or other stuff that you can look at. You can look at the preview here to maybe fully understand a little bit more of everything that it adds to it. But I think uh, it, it might be under a section uh, specifically made for it, uh, like made for it under the uh, organization of, of the blueprints. I think it'll be called, or the nodes I mean, I think it'll be called LE Standard, Li Extend Standard Library. I think that's what it'll be called but uh, as my projects loading up because I haven't loaded it up yet for some reason um, uh, you're gonna want to download that install that um, and another quick thing I am <coughs> excuse me I am using a 4.10.1 on this um, I haven't converted it to 11 and I still haven't downloaded 12 because my internet's kind of slow so it takes a while to download things and also I don't have a whole lot of space on my hard drive to be able to be on 4.12 but if you guys would really rather me to stay up to all the blueprint versions just you know uh, shout that out but I will uh, resume the video once we are back into the uh, or once my Unreal Engine project is loaded up and I'll see you guys. Alright so now we're back and uh, if you didn't pay attention to the title, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be aiming down sights. I don't believe I had anything else scheduled um, or had said I would do something. I don't know. I have a horrible memory. So if you suggested something and I said, yeah, I'll put that in the video and I haven't, uh, tell me, remind me. And uh, for one, I will first forgive you. And then I will do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's get into it. And, of course, we're going to open up our... Uh, you would say, oh, we're just going to open up our bro dude. But we're not quite yet. Let's open up our weapon uh, in our blueprints. So, let's open up our weapon base. And uh, we're going to have to do some um, work here with the scaling and everything. But it'll all be good. Um... If you can zoom in close enough, which you probably won't be able to, um, first take the skeletal mesh and pay attention to what the scale is. So the scale is 1.18. Okay, I'm going to have to remember that. So what we're going to do is we're going to scale it up to a, a reasonable size. All right. And now we're going to make it so we can uh, aim down the sights. So we're going to have to do that probably right around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a camera. Going to add a camera. And uh, we're going to parent it to this. We're going to rotate it for 90 degrees and put it right there now. I'm going to scale it down. And we'll leave it right there and we'll mess with that later. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, then what we're going to want to do is uh, from, uh, from this, uh, we're going to want to auto activate, turn that off and compile it. Now go to our guy and uh, 
we're going to want to do let's see get right right mouse button and once it's pressed we're going to want to uh, get that and uh, um, set active the camera we'll, we'll put that and then we will deactivate our camera and I've got everything spaced out but I'll organize stuff later alright so now that we've got all that let's uh... let's organize what cameras what All right, and then we're going to want to get that D activate sorry I need to drag it off of here deactivate this camera sometimes things aren't just aren't, ain't connecting and then we're going to set active so I look back on how I did it because I had forgot but I got it we're good and what I had was kind of right, so we're going to do it from pretty much all the way back to here. So let's pretend like we just finished this. So we got our camera set, and we're good. So now let's hop over to our bro dude, and now we have to add a component. Now this is the fun part, guys. Now, really, um, before we would have set this up, because in the old series, you know, I had like a normal... Uh, another camera switching bef between um, the two cameras on this end, but what I tried to do now is I tried to switch between our camera on this end and then to the camera on this end, but I forgot, or uh, to the camera on our weapon, but I forgot that cameras can't switch like that. They just don't. And excuse me if I sound sick, that's because I kind of am. Allergies are acting up this, uh, this month. Um... So what we need to do is we need to add a second camera. Now this will be parented to our gun, but it doesn't really matter because we're not going to do too much with it. I'm just calling it ADS because we're aiming down sights. But on our tick, we do need to do something important. I do have a tick, right? Oh my gosh, I've gone this entire time without a tick. I feel like a master. Usually I, I t I'm ticking everything. Cause I'm so ticked off, bro. So we're going to create a tick. And another thing we're going to do, we're also going to create a, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> a sequence. Because we are going to sequence off of this probably 100 times. Just kidding, maybe 15 or 14 or 20. I don't know. But I'm going to comment that. I'm going to comment it tick. Um, actually, I'm just going to comment this to be tick. Okay, we're good. So, um, we're going to probably have some other things that we need to get off the tick. But for right now, let's just um, uh, set relative, can't spell, relative location of the ADS. Now we're going to get our equipped weapon. And then we're going to get camera no 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 not camera view just get the camera sorry and get relative location and then we're gonna grab it there and we're gonna sweep it so as far as I know uh, I think I thought the sweeping means like it it just gradually um, uh, actually we could do a T interp too. No. 
I'll figure that out later. But uh, someone was wanting a Call of Duty of style, um, like like you can see the arms moving up to the camera. Well, what I said is that's actually the other way around. That's the camera moving down to the arms. And uh, the way I thought I thought that was done is was I thought that was achieved by. Um, Man, I really need to find it by by pressing sweep. But I remember it's one of these interp twos, and I don't remember. Maybe it's yes. Okay, it is this, and I will implement that later because I don't know how to do it. But if you want to test it out, the V interp two. That's how you get that sliding, uh, like that smooth like movement to uh, from the ca our current camera location to that camera location so I'll, I'll figure that out later but if you want to mess around with that that's how you do that but as of now this is all we need um, to get the uh, uh, the ADS working so I'm gonna comment all of this as set ADS cam locale I just love my abbreviations now don't I anyways that's what that one's going to be, and you can drag that wherever, of course, because it's all commented and it's just going to stay connected to the tick. So I'm going to set the ADS camera locale, and now what we're going to do is we are going to get deactivate camera and activate... ADS. One one quick note on ADS, auto active auto active needs to be off, and use pawn control also needs to be off. Um, you because you may think oh that needs to be on. I as far as I know that does need to be off, and this can be parented uh, to the muzzle I guess so that it will just stick with it. Um, Actually, just move. Actually, do it somewhere else, like rear sight. That'll be better. Um, and excuse me. So here you'll you'll see the cameras. the The camera should just be here at the rear sight. So, yep. All right. So that's it. C stay saved up because I'm afraid of crashing sometime soon, and uh, all of our good progress being lost so I always remind people in the middle of my videos and make them watch the torturous process of saving because it is important now we we'll just do the opposite here we're gonna deactivate can't spell deactivate the ADS and then activate our normal camera Okay, so that should be good. Also, on the weapon base, remember how we toggled auto active off? Eh, turn it on. <laughs> and use pawn control uh, doesn't really matter because we're not actually ever going to be using this. We're just going to be using the location of it. Um, so that proves to be problematic. But, of course, everything is a work in progress. So well, the way I'm going to fix that is dra on uh is is on released and this is this is just showing you how to fix it if it ever breaks for you um on released drag it to that uh to the same one as pressed and compile it and then go here and just right click and it'll stay like that now shift f1 grab your weapon base and drag that down and now we've got this So you may see at the bottom we've got some culling. That's what that's called, object culling. Um, don't worry, we're going to fix that. We also have this is not completely centered. But everything will become centered, so don't worry about any of that jazz. We will eventually have everything centered, especially if you download the project. 
So I think that looks pretty simple. You're like, well, there's, there's, they're still calling. What is this? What is this crap? What are you, what are you doing to me? And uh, and you're like, well, okay, fine. I'll just move it forward. You're like, no, that just messes up the alignment. Okay, guys, don't worry about it. I got you covered. Leave that here. Stop it. Compile it. Play it. And right click again. And we should be solid. Now it should be shooting straight where your crosshair is. Now you can barely see your crosshair. Yes, I understand. But don't worry. I am going to fix that. So we need to do something else on the tick. Um, I feel like it's just easier to do it on the tick. You don't have to. But we're going to create another a variable called zooming. And on the tick, I'm going to drag or yeah I when I when I'm dragging off the sequence I call it the tick because it's that's where it's coming from is the tick um, uh, get uh, a branch and of course drag down the zooming because we wouldn't have created that variable just then if we weren't going to use it so if true we need to set um, oh no f in Interp, interp. Oh, sorry. Huh. I'm, 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 I'm changing th the way things should be going. We need to uh, get ADS, and if we are zooming, we need to type in set FOV. There should. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it yeah. I actually have to type out field of view. That's great. And my engine's freezing, and I have a fear of crashing right now. Just like people do with cars, I've got a fear of crashing. I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I've fixed it, and I'm gonna show you guys what it did. And so uh, I did crash, like I said. Um, so that zooming. Uh, by the way, you're gonna want to put uh, true when we are pressed, and zooming false when we are released. Now, down here, uh, get a branch. If zooming is true, um, get the ADS and set field of view. Also, get field of view. Um, F and terp2 is uh, the return value is going to go to field of view, and the current is going to get the field of view that ADS has. Uh, target can be 20 or whatever you want it to be. Um, you can play around with that. The delta time get world delta seconds, and the interp speed is how quick or fast, or qu quick or slow it's going to zoom in. So that's pretty much the whole thing of zooming. And uh, so you know when we're running around and you just want to zoom, um, you're probably gonna want to make um, make the uh, what's the word? Make your movement slower. So it's not so shaky and everything because that's what it's going to be. And you can see that the uh, the crosshair is not perfectly in the center. Um, so I'm I am going to fix that. You can see the left side um, is a bit has a bit more space than the right side does. So we can fix that. And uh, other than that, um, that's how zooming is going to work. Um, we're going to do some more stuff later, and of course comments and suggestions and all that is highly, highly appreciated and welcomed. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and stick around for more videos. And if you haven't seen my other videos, i got uh, other videos for RPG series that's kind of I haven't done stuff with lately, and I need to. And uh, I have more videos in this series. So hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Thanks.